Hi YCPC, thanks for joining me. A um, couple of things before I go any further. Two shout outs. One to Hound Dog, um, a channel I only came across a few weeks ago. I just want to share the fact that he exists in case you don't know. Um, first class gentleman, musician, artist, all around good guy. And the other one is one you may have come across, Rambling Jan, uh, a young man, wonderful uh, look on life and such, and um, hopefully an inspiration to other people of his generation. I enjoyed his one and only film that he's put up, I'm aware of, uh, and again I'll put a, a link to that for you. One of my smoking today, uh, an Eldritch pipe. Um, Dublin Guinness. I know you can see that the stem represents that uh, head on the Guinness as it's forming. In Ireland they know the tourists because they order a pint of Guinness and within 60 seconds of supping it. The, um, the locals will leave that to settle for you. In fact, bartender will probably leave it to settle before serving it. And it has a nice creamy thick head on it. And in it, um, I've got some St. Bruno ready rubbed, Kentucky, Virginia. Um, there are toppings, it is floral, suppose. Uh, it, it, but it's lovely, and it's the best selling tobacco in the United Kingdom, I believe. Uh, just while I'm on that subject, if anyone's at all interested, um, I'm not saying my top three tobaccos, but the tobaccos I bought most of in 2022 was number one was St. Bruno, uh, number two was uh, fourth generation, 1882, and um, the third was Boson Cup Plug. I had a host of other wonderful tobaccos, but uh, those three for sure would be... Uh, if you're an experienced piper, should we say, not for, I know it sounds like a bit beginners, uh, you know, you're just sort of finding your way around. Um, i say if, if I could give any advice, and there's plenty of videos out there giving wonderful advice on beginners to pipe smoking, is uh, major things, do get yourself a decent pipe um, once you, as you get into the, um, the hobby. By that, you know, Mishuri Mersham is for sure a great pipe to begin with, this, uh, with a deep bowl, a decent bowl like a countryman. Um, but once you get into the hobby, I would suggest, and there's two popular makes around uh, in Savinelli, I believe the 320 is very popular, it's sort of mid-range price, and um, there's Peterson's. Again, generally you're going to get a decent, really good briar, um, and from then I would suggest the Donegal Rocky range. Um, I found over, I'm talking decades now. I don't own the Savinelli, by the way. I've just gone off what other people have said. But I'll share a little story about the uh, the Donegal Rocky and the, and the one and only pipe acquisition I had in 2022 which led on to a, a domino effect of things, which I, again I'll share with you. Um, I think Molly's asleep there. Uh, if anybody, those that may have watched my last video, and if they stood the uh, the duration of, I ended up in the, um, in the ferry marina there, and I, I mentioned about uh, a boat that was moored there uh, in the early, uh, 2000s and it was the Otterbank. I'll, I'll put up some pictures here. Uh, the Otterbank originally, let me make a note here, I think. Oh, May 1926. <laughs> it was commissioned by um, William Grant, the whiskey people, as a. Um, oh, you're moving around, Molly. 
Louis Adele. Yeah. Um, and eventually it was converted into the world's only floating bank, um, which this boat was. And I think it served around cracky, 1960s, 1970s, might be wrong, around the Isles of the Orkneys. Um, and apart from delivering, uh, well, apart from being the bank, there was male involved, I believe, and even transporting pregnant women to maternity wards and, uh, you know, true rural uh, endeavours. Uh, and eventually it was replaced by uh, an air service, I think it's called Logan Air. I think remember putting some equipment into them back in the day. And eventually it ended up down at the marina here. In a sort of full state, but it still had the lines, beautiful lines. It just had such a evocative nature to it. Uh, I will put a link to the society that actually they they located the boat down here in 2006. I think at the time they wanted about sixteen thousand pounds for it. Now I don't know how the transaction went, whether it was donated or they bought it, but they took it um, up to the Orkneys and they've refurbished it, and I say I'll put a few photographs up, but also a link to the society that did it, so if you are interested, you can look into that further. So, um, that pipe story, I'll just um, try and rearrange the camera so I can, probably better if I can do it on the desk here, and uh, give you a better sight of what I'll be talking about. So, I'll join you in a few moments. <laughs> I'll just see uh, a little bit closer to the Eldritch Dublin Guinness. It is a beautiful pipe. I've had it quite a long time now. Um, but <laughs> I tend to put it down like a lot of my pipes and then forget it's there and then, uh, whoa, nice smoke when you fire it up again. Right, this little story. Coming up to Christmas, my good lady says, what would you want for Christmas? What can I get? Well, I'm very fortunate. <laughs> I'm quite happy with my lot. However, see, I hadn't bought a pipe hall in 19... Oh, sorry, 2022. Where am I going? I think I've tamed this Simo now. Zippo uh, now. So I said, buy a pipe. I said, okay, I'll choose one. So in December, let's see if I can get a bit more light on the subject. It's beautiful pipe. I think it's called a Western Rusty. So it was January before I actually smoked it. And 1882, well known how it smokes tobacco. And straight away, two bowls, lovely smoke. Come past it. That was uh, during the day. We came to it in the evening. You 
see the blistering. Oh well. It looks like, and I'm not a pipe maker, but it looked like um, a bit of over enthusiasm with the old varnish. Anyway, as you can see, beautiful pipe. Just a shame. However, when things go wrong, that's when you find out when your supplies are any good or not. My supply has been absolutely brilliant over the years. And then, what I did, took some photographs in modern technology, I sent an email off to them and said, received a pipe, had two bowls, smoked beautifully, but it looks like it's blistering. Can't find any holes, can't find any cracks, smokes well, have you ideas where we go from here. Within the hour, I'd had an email back saying, I've refunded your money. So I rang, said pipe supplier, and just said, well, well what do you want to do with this? Do you want me to send it back to you? He said, no, 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 not at all. He said, we're sorry, any inconvenience, um, I've refunded your money. And yes, I'd had a statement come through. It had 100% been refunded. So that's when you get to know if your um, supply is any good when things go wrong. So, what do you want me to do with this? It's not too delicate a question. And he said, well, to be fair, so you keep it, do with it as you wish, whether you want to smoke it, keep it on the mantelpiece, or indeed if you want to dispose of it. So because it's such a good smoker, I have kept it. But because of the way he treated me and looked after me, I thought, well, I still would like a pipe. And one of the early pipes I got was a Donegal Rocky. Uh, I think, I've got to say 70s. I think pretty certain it's the 70s. And it, it has served me well over those years. That, that bowl's been reamed a few times, matron. Um, silver. And yeah, everything's still in working order and I was only smoking it yesterday so I thought what I would do is get an up to date version so which I did and I've always seen these things and I've said that the new Donegal Rockies in, in my opinion when I saw ooh, I'm not supposed to see that Always looked a little bit more robust than the ones I had back in the day. So I got myself a new Donegal Rocky. Haven't. It's the 999. Ah, cracky. But it's on there, trust me. 999. And that's what this is, albeit because of all the wear and tear, I can just about in that corner there with the magnifying glass make it out. Well, there you go. But if you compare the two, would you say my theory was correct? Yeah, they do look a little bit more chunky, don't they? Which can be a bad thing. And all these contours with the rustication and such, and now it's got these cutouts here, um, helps dissipate the heat so it gives you a cooler smoke. But I was smoking St. Bruno in it. So absolutely delighted. So, this the story sort of develops so a friend of mine is going over to Ireland and the currency over there is um, Euro and when I was last over there actually fishing I had quite a number of uh, Euros still in a plastic bag which I came across because going through a bit of transition here at the moment building and knocking walls in and what have you and uh, I came across this uh, plastic bag. So my friend was going over to, to Ireland. I said, while you're over there, in Dublin in particular, could you, would you call in at Sally Noggin and get me? I wanted another one of those. Um, and he said, yeah, no problem. But the thing is, 
his family were so well knit with the traditional families of Dublin, not only was he able to get me in people knew people, shall we say. So uh, they commissioned another for me. And this is it. Why did I want a commission? Because perhaps in a not too far distant future video I'll be able to uh, But there it is. This is I'll leave the paper in there. This is the one that's come virtually direct from Sally Noggin. Okay. So again, nine nine nine. Uh, anyone who's had these Donegal Rockies, please let me know what your interpretation of them are. Uh, it doesn't have to be the 999, you know, it could be any of them. Um, but the, they are, and has proved to me, a wonderful pipe. I haven't smoked my new one yet, but I will. And this is where it gets even more bizarre, if you like, or wonderful. Because of people knowing people <laughs> and because oh is he a friend of yours well one of the gentlemen there and he wants to say anonymous he did send me this and that has got powerful information on there <laughs> but he just wants to stay anonymous he from his own collection sent me just virtually because of the respect he had for other people within this um, collusion um, sent me a pipe and I'm not sure um, yeah here we go and it's a Peterson obviously and it's a Sherlock Holmes and it's a Hound of the Baskerville pipe as you can see I'm not smoke I've just, it was a little bit tarnished round there, but I, I cleaned that up with a bit of um, pipe tobacco ash. But, goodness me, didn't, have a, didn't buy a single pipe, and again, I haven't smoked this. It's got the Peterson lip. Um, Edward Hobbs, I think, God bless him, I think he's a good lady, bought him one for Christmas. So there you are, Edward, uh, brother. Um, I'll be able to sample the enjoyment that you've been enjoying uh, with your new pipe. So there we go. All out of a packet of uh, euros. And the wonderful support I got from the people that uh, supplied me this uh, Western Rustic, I think it's called. But no, no issues, no drama. Yeah, Western Rustic. Ben Wade. No drama. I say, I've been smoking it. And I did check. Do you want me to send you that? No, that'll be fine. So, hope you found that of interest. No, I hope you found that of interest. Um, so, not much more to say, really. Unless you've seen some. I'm colourblind. I think these are pink. <laughs> I was given these by my grandson yesterday. If you follow my um, videos, you know he, he plays football. He, he, he's done well the last uh, few months. He's been representing or playing for the representative side for the town. And um, yesterday, after the game, we got approached to go for trials at one of the main football clubs in the area, Manchester City. So um, he'll be off there shortly doing some trials. So, thank you again for joining me. <laughs> uh, I do appreciate your, your views and I appreciate your comments. So, until we meet next time, goodbye for now.